Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde, coming to you live and direct from your school, my school, our school. The most honorable Frederick Douglass, most honorable Marcus Garvey, RBG Leadership Academy. This is going to be the last trash collection video, brothers and sisters. This is going to be the last trash collection video, brothers and sisters. This is going to be the last trash collection video because every time I do a trash collection video, they come and they dump more trash. I left here at nine o'clock last night. I got back at 11 this morning. 14 hours later, how did we get all that trash on the ground? I left here 9 p.m. last night and returned 11 a.m. this morning. How did we get all that trash on the ground? I left here at 9 p.m. last night and got back at 11 this morning. How did we get all that trash on the ground, family? Somebody is intentionally dumping. Somebody is intentionally dumping. Block party for you. Okay, brothers and sisters. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Uh, nah. Let's go to work. Naughty ass tissue. Let's go to work. Somebody said, where is he cleaning at? You need to hop off the live. That's the most ridiculous question. Somebody said, where is he picking up trash? You need to hop off the live right now, sister. I can't believe you said that. That means you've been clueless for the past five years. You've been absolutely clueless for the past five years. She said, where is he picking up the trash? That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Getting drunk and shit. Ugh. And you can tell they intentionally did this. You can tell they intentionally did this. Ugh. You can tell this was intentional. What's going on? Yes, sir. How's everything? All right, all right. No doubt. Okay. Get out of here. Still still reside here. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Right around the corner. Okay, positive. Positive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's cool. Everybody doubt you. I got I got belief in you, bro. We almost there, man. But I, I, I run a, uh, a small podcast, it's got okay. a real big uh, Delegate TV. Okay. And I wanted to know if I could get you on. Yeah. Uh, take my number, take my number. Okay. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Had to do that, had to do that. Man, you talk six, three, six, three, maybe six, four when I stand up straight. I might be six, four when I stand up straight. I wasn't that good. They made me play because I was tall, bro. I was an activist from day one. <laughs> so, yo, I can surprise you in town. Yeah. I seen you over here the other day. I didn't see you. I seen you online. The I other feel day. you. Uh, 215. 215. Are you in Philly? Yeah. 989. 9858. Yeah, lock me on in there. All right. So, what is it? I say it? hit me. Uh, is it a fee or something? Uh, yeah, but I work with you. Don't worry about that. Uh, hit me. Uh, Plus, November. I got a, I got a, I got another group of uh, Northside for Life. This is this is Northside of the town. Okay. We got a big following. 
Okay, okay. So, and I'm going to integrate with them with you. Okay, and okay. Gonna get that. I'll get the owners from that and when we have that, do have that podcast. Okay. We can chop i say hit me early November because I'm going to be traveling until then. Okay. I'm heading down to Nat Turner celebration uh, tomorrow. Okay. And then I got to go to Atlanta, Toronto, Nashville, Get Dallas. Get that, man. Get that, man. You know, raise the consciousness. Keep the people motivated How and focused. How do you spell Zoom Tune Day? Uh, I-F-A. I-F-A. T-U-N-D-E. I-F-A, T-U-N-D-E. I-F-A, T-U-N-D-E. Okay. My new being brother. Every I'll be time I go like live, look at the man. police come driving <laughs> I think they convinced I'm doing something illegal, bro. It's crazy. Really? Yeah, when I go live, one of them normally drive out. It oh, could shit. be a coincidence. Are oh, you going live now? Yeah. Oh, as you got to see. Hey, Michelle. Hey. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we do a lot of stuff for the community, man. Okay, you okay. Know, so I like and you got to text me when you have events. Send me the flyer or whatnot. Oh, yeah, you know man, what we I mean? just had a big one, too. Yeah, man. send me the flyer if you can okay. remember. Okay. okay. I always hear about stuff after the fact, bro. I'll give you, and I'll give you the, uh, the runner, the person that runs, uh, North South for life. Okay. I'm just a, a honorary member, but Understood. I'm silent. Understood. I don't Understood. I got you. But, yeah, um, let me know. They definitely uh, keep the post. Let me know. Let me know. Good luck, man. All right, bro. Good luck, no doubt. God bless Appreciate you, you man. Go rub Appreciate the rock, you. you said rub the rock. Oh, yeah. Rub the rock. Go rub the rock, man. That's the good luck. Yep, yep, yep. That's the good luck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up? Delegate TV at Northside for Life. I'm from North Philly, so I'm going to remember the North Side. <laughs> okay, okay, this is the North Side here. Okay, okay. No doubt, man. <laughs> All right. How's it going there, good brother? Yeah. Appreciate you. Really coming along, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Them, oh, thank you. My queen mother made this for me. Just got it out the mail today. Yeah. All right, now. Y'all be safe, brother. Yeah, uh, early. Early November. Yes, sir. All right, King. Yes, sir. The sacred RBG stone. Wow. I know this ain't what I think it is. Yeah. Damn, y'all getting tore up at my campus? What's this? Jack Daniels, Lynchburg, Tennessee. Jack Daniels, Lynchburg, Tennessee. Drinking on my property. That's a federal offense. You in the school zone, my ninjas. All right. Margaritaville, Blue Agave. I knew a sister named Margarita. Shout out to Phoenix, Arizona. One of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. Super, super dark chocolate, thick and curvy. Shout out to Sister Margarita. 
All this happened between 9 p.m. and 11 a.m. Somebody help me help me understand. Between 9 p.m. and 11 a.m. All this trash. Somebody help me out. Somebody help me out. Look at this shit. They doing it on purpose. Look at this. We trying to build a school and this is what we got to deal with. Shit is insane. This is what y'all do. Trying to open up a school for black boys and this is what y'all do. Trying to open up a school for black boys and this is what y'all do. Snotty ass tissue all over my... And I know you're doing it on purpose. I know you're doing it on purpose. That's all right. That's all right. <sighs> This is how y'all do the people who serve the race. This is how y'all do the people who serve the race. This is how y'all treat the people who serve the race. That's why if you're gonna be a freedom fighter for African people, you must do it for one purpose only. If you're gonna be a freedom fighter for African people, you can do it for one purpose, to serve the almighty. If you get into this work for anything other than serving the almighty, you're going to end up being a hustler, con artist, opportunist, sell out, or, or you're going to get burned out. You're going to sell out or you're going to get burned out. You're going to sell out or you're going to get burned out. Ugh. They did this shit on purpose. One bag of trash spread all over the street. One bag of trash spread all over the street. Let me say good Garvey day to the ancestors. First, we always anoint the most high creator, supreme consciousness, ruler, sustainer, destroyer of all that is. Always start with the almighty who has no partners, no comparisons. Can't be mentioned in the same breath as any other spirit. Hi. How you doing, beautiful? Yeah, how you? How's everything? Good. What's the name? Zyra. Pleased to meet you, sister Zyra. Yes, ma'am. Like like, <laughs> Take my number, Sister Zyra. And then I want you to text me so when we start having activities, you get the flyers. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. You born and raised, uh, Delaware? Yeah. Okay. what that say on your shirt? Uh, I know you're careless, but don't let's stop coughing. I need one of them. You got an extra one? I need one. <laughs> I need one. Let me know when you're ready. Open this one first. Elementary, once we get this up and we almost there, then we're going to tackle the high school. Okay, I'm ready. 215. 989-9858. 215-989-9858. And you're the only Zyra I think I've ever met. Well, it's Nazira. Nazira. You're definitely the only Nazira. <laughs> 
ever. I don't think I'm, I might have signed a few books to a desire, but nobody local. So make sure you text me. I'm going to keep you posted. We're going to have volunteer activities, a lot of community events. We mostly educating the kids, but we got to take care of the people too. You feel me? Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I just, I just texted you and I just said keep me posted. Okay. I got you, sweetheart. All right. All right, baby. Be safe now. All right. I want to say good morning to the ancestors of FDMG, Emperor John Jock Dessaline the First. Where my Haitian Africans at? In honor to Haiti, we got Emperor John Jock Dessalines the First. Where my Haitian Africans at? Where my Haitian Africans at? We got the city of Wilmington scouting out. Look at the city of Wilmington scouting out. We ain't doing nothing illegal, city of Wilmington. We ain't doing nothing illegal, city of Wilmington. School already done. We just painting. School already done, City of Wilmington. We just painting. Guess what, City of Wilmington? Y'all ain't got to spy on me. We had a permit for our HVAC work. We had a permit for our plumbing work. We had a permit for our electric work. Y'all ain't got to spy on me, City of Wilmington. Y'all see them over there? Spying on the prince. We did everything legal up in here. I'm just picking up trash. I'm just picking up trash. But this is to Emperor John Jock the first right here, my Haitian family. This gymnasium is named after these two. This gymnasium is named after these two. Emperor John Jacques Dessalines and the prophet Nat Turner, whose Earth Day we celebrate tomorrow with the solar eclipse. The prophet Nat Turner, whose Earth Day we celebrate tomorrow with the eclipse. Then you got the prince of Pan-Africanism down on one knee because I'm not on their level. I'm down on one knee because I'm not on the level. Then we got the most honorable Frederick Douglass. Four times great grand cousin. We related by blood, not marriage. Please don't hate. We related by blood, not marriage. Please don't hate. And then you got the right honorable, most excellent Marcus Messiah Garvey, who incorporated the Black Star Line steamship right here in Delaware, brothers and sisters. So we got to salute the ancestors. We got to salute the ancestors. We're going to finish picking up this trash. But you know what? Let me ask the city of Wilmington a question. I just got me a question for the city of Wilmington. Let me spy right back with a question. Let me spy right back with a question. Get all this trash up. Ah! ah. Oh, that's brother Denzel Lamont. Oh, you spying on me, brother. We know we done. It's almost time for us to get our inspection. Okay. Once I contact you for the inspection, how long it take for you to come out and do it? Because, you know, our HVAC done, plumbing done, everything done. We just painting right now. So once we reach out to you, uh, how long? And I'm asking because I spoke to some of the business owners. Some of them said y'all took forever to get out to them. So how does it work? Oh, it's pretty quick then. Okay, don't t why, why some of the businesses say it took y'all months to get to them? That, that's exaggeration. Okay, all right. Well, I'm just picking up trash they keep dumping on the campus. Question, is there any way I can get some trash cans from the city? Because it's all city people dumping on our school every day. said it might be worse they're just gonna dump their stuff okay i'm gonna leave it alone then all right elder yes indeed, yes, indeed. brothers and sisters we're getting ready for the grand opening we're getting ready for the grand opening brothers and sisters oh yes oh yes i need my haters get your last hates in right now all my YouTube being struggle streamers, I want you to get your last hate in right now. All my YouTube being struggle streamers, get your last hate in right now, family. Get your last videos in, your last lying ass videos. Get them in right now. Get them in right now. Get them in right now. Get your last. Now, see, I want to talk to the homeless people in Wilmington, Delaware one time. I want to talk to the homeless people in Wilmington, Delaware one time. 
I want to talk to the homeless people. Here's what I want to say to my homeless Africans. Here's what I want to say to my homeless Africans. I too was once homeless. I too was once homeless many, 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 many years ago. So I have a heart for the homeless. But what I don't have a heart for is when you sleep on my campus. What I don't have a heart for is when you sleep on my campus. What I don't have a heart for is when you sleep on my campus and you don't clean this shit up. See, this is my problem. This is my problem. And y'all got a condom over here. Y'all got a condom over here. You having sex in front of my school. How you got time to be having sex? That's disgusting. So guess what? For now on, all due respect to my homeless Africans, you will no longer be sleeping on this campus. That's over. No more sleeping on my campus because you popping coochie on my campus. We can't have that. We can't have that. You popping coochie on my campus? No, thank you. You should not be worrying about Cinnabons if you're homeless. You should be worrying about employment and shelter. You should not be worrying about Cinnabons if you're homeless. You should be worrying about employment and shelter. You should be worrying about employment and shelter. No disrespect at all because I was once a member of your population many, 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 many years ago. But you know what? That's over with. Give you an inch, you take a mile. I saw y'all sleeping up here and I let y'all stay. I said, I'm not going to run my brothers and sisters out because homelessness is a big problem in the black community. I said I wasn't going to run my brothers and sisters out because homelessness Y'all ain't even saved me a Rice Krispie treat. You clapping Cinnabons on my campus and you ain't even saved me a Rice Krispie treat. You clapping Cinnabons on my campus and you ain't even saved me a Rice Krispie treat. Where's the hospitality? Where's the hospitality? Where's the hospitality? Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Ah. Brothers and sisters, we must do better. We must do better. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, we must do better. Uh. Uh. Brothers and sisters, we must do better. Disgusting. Popping coochie on my campus. So you done messed it up for all, all the homeless Africans. I know this ain't no shit thing. Please don't tell me this is a shitter. Somebody please don't tell me that this is a makeshift commode. You mean to tell me y'all created an outdoor toilet on my campus? Are you telling me y'all created an outdoor toilet at the most honorable Frederick Douglass High School. Y'all created an outdoor toilet. This shit is ridiculous. This shit is absolutely ridiculous. I don't believe this shit here. I don't believe this shit here. Brothers and sisters, somebody tell me this ain't what I'm looking at. My Instagram Africans, my continental Africans, my Africans in Asia, my British, my French, my German, my Austrian, my Irish Africans, my Middle Eastern Africans. Somebody tell me my Jamaican, my Haitian, my Barbadian, Bahamian Africans, my St. Lucia, St. Crit, St. Croix, Guadeloupe, Turks and Caicos, my Guyana, my Brazil Africans, my Panama, Costa Rica. Somebody tell me Texas Pennsylvania Africans, Delaware, Jersey, California Africans, Carolina, can somebody, in the name of Nat Turner Solar Eclipse tomorrow, in the name of Nat Turner Solar Eclipse tomorrow, can somebody please tell me that they didn't create a makeshift toilet on my damn campus? Lord have mercy. Brothers and sisters, all this trash and I left here nine o'clock last night. All this trash and I left here nine o'clock last night. All this trash and I left here 
and they created a damn toilet. Okay. Did, did, you see, see, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, I'm already the hardest working man in black consciousness. Can I get some relief? I'm already the hardest working man in black consciousness. Can I get some relief? I'm already the hardest working man in black consciousness. Can I get some relief, brothers and sisters? That's how y'all going to do me. My homeless Africans, I love y'all. I, I stand with y'all. We got the highest black homelessness rate. But if you're going to create a makeshift toilet, if you're going to clap center buns under the weeds on my campus, we got the end this. We got the end this, Africans. We got the end this, Africans. We got to end this, Africans. We got to end this, Africans. We got to end this, Africans. This is insane. We're going to have a regular monthly. We're going to feed the homeless and we're going to have some clothes. We got to take care of the homeless. They just can't sleep here no more. Because y'all don't know how to act. Can't sleep here no more because y'all don't know how to act. So that's over with. No more sleeping outside on the campus. I'm sorry, homeless Africans. This is private property. No more sleeping outside. We're done with it. We done with it. We done with it. We done with it, family. We done with it, family. Condoms in a toilet right next to each other. Y'all didn't made a whole apartment outside on the platform in front of the most honorable Frederick Douglass High School. Hit the cash app. Stop asking questions if you didn't donate. That's what's wrong with the YouTube and struggle streamers. They think they get answers even though they didn't donate. They think they get answers even though they didn't donate. All right, y'all created an outdoor toilet on my fucking can. Oh my, excuse my language, family. Excuse my language, family. Excuse my language, family. This is King Kong Delicious coming to you October the 1st, 2024. This is King Kong Alicious E5 Tune Day three times coming to you October the 1st, 2024. I want to give a special shout out to all of my Libra Africans. Where are my Libra Africans at? Where are my Libra Africans at? Where are my Libra Africans? Make some noise, my Libra Africans. Where y'all at? Shout out to the African Libras. Shout out to the black Libras around the world from Africa to Alabama, from California to Cape Coast, Ghana. Yes, indeed, brothers and sisters. Yes, indeed, from Kenya to Cape Town. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters from Liberia to Louisiana. Oh, yes, from the Congo to North Carolina. Oh, yes. From Brazil to South Bronx. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. From Panama to Pennsylvania. Brothers and sisters, I got to take off my... I want to give a shout out to Queen Mother Gloria. Queen Mother Gloria, I picked up your hat in the mail today. How y'all like my hat? Queen Mother Gloria got this hat for me. She's one of our loyal donors. Queen Mother, she's going to be part of the Council of Elders. 
She's going to be part of the Council of Elders at FDMG. Brothers and sisters, condoms and a makeshift toilet. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, brothers and sisters. What am I to do? What is a Pan-Africanist to do? What is a Pan-Africanist to do, brothers and sisters? What is a Pan-Africanist to do? Where are all my sisters at? Where are all my sisters at? Let me say good morning to the great divine feminine, all the beautiful African queens and ancestors and queen mothers and nieces and daughters and aunties and cousins and wives out there. We're the great divine feminine. Let me say good morning to the great divine, divine feminine. Good morning to the great divine masculine, my unapologetically African anti-snow bunny alpha males. Good morning to the great divine masculine, the unapologetically anti-snow bunny alpha males. I hope y'all going to see me tomorrow in Nat Turner. I hope everybody got their ticket at natturnerlibrary.com. I hope everybody got their ticket at natturnerlibrary.com, brothers and sisters. Tomorrow is going down 11 to 7. King Kong speaks at 4. Tomorrow is going down 11 to 7. King Kong speaks at 4. Get there at 11 o'clock in Capron, Virginia tomorrow. C-A-P-R-O-N. Capron, Virginia is where the Nat Turner Earth Day Solar Return Celebration taking place tomorrow. C-A-P-R-O-N. Capron, Virginia. Tomorrow, 11 to 7. Nat Turner. Solar Eclipse. We in the building. What's my message for this morning? My message for this morning as the first day of October, the day before the eclipse. My message this morning is we must stay focused, Africans. My message this morning, stay focused. You open in a business, stay focused. You raising a child, stay focused. You fighting against police brutality, stay focused. You building a school, stay focused. We must stay focused, brothers and sisters. We must stay focused, brothers and sisters. And we as a people cannot allow others to monetize our culture. Say no to the monetization of African culture. Don't let them monetize Bob Marley. Don't let them monetize the Ethiopian flag. They know better than to monetize the red, black, and green Garvey flag. I said they know better than to monetize the red, black, and green Garvey flag. Don't let an outsider monetize the culture. We let them monetize hip-hop, and look what happened to hip-hop. Self-destruction music. We let them monetize hip-hop. Look at hip-hop. It's the soundtrack for self-destruction. We let them monetize hip-hop, and now hip-hop is the soundtrack for self-destruction. Stop letting them monetize your culture. We let them monetize jazz, and they didn't damn near kicked every jazz musician out of the damn art form. You go to a jazz concert, it's all non-Africans on, on the jazz assembly. You go to the orchestra, it's all non-Africans in the orchestra, brothers and sisters. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Keep it all black. Keep it all black and proud, brothers and sisters. Keep it all black and keep it all proud, brothers and sisters. Keep it all black and keep it all proud. We don't hate nobody. We love ourselves. We don't hate nobody. We love ourselves. Listen here. My religious brothers and sisters, because y'all been riding me for a little bit because I said I left Islam. That was 19 years ago. I don't know why y'all just now catching up. That was 19 years ago. I don't know why we still talking about what I did 19 years ago. But let me say this. I respect Islam. I respect Christianity. I respect the Hebrew faith. I respect all of the Abrahamic traditions. I respect all three of the Abrahamic traditions. I have no issue with you being Hebrew. I have no issue with you being Christian. I have no issue being with you being Muslim. You are the three children of Abraham. I understand. Hebrews, Christians, and Muslims are the three children of Abraham. I understand. 
I'm not talking to you, sir. You are an artificial Hebrew. I'm not talking to artificials. I'm talking to originals now. I'm talking to originals. Please respect the chat, sir. Please respect the chat. Please respect the chat. I said Hebrew. You're not a Hebrew, sir. Get off the chat. Now, here's what I want to say to the three Abrahamic faiths of my race. Zesfes. Here's what I want to say to the three Abrahamic faiths. No, sir, don't disrespect the religion. Don't do that. Don't do that. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey taught us you don't disrespect anybody's faith. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey taught us you don't disrespect anybody's faith. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey taught us you don't disrespect nobody's faith. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Black gold. Streets are talking. The verdict is in on me. No problem, good brother. I'm going to send you to the block party. Can you get me a cheese, a cheese, a cheese cake and a cheese steak? Black gold. You block for the rest of your life. I hope your comment was worth it, my brother. My dear Neanderthal Kunish Negro. My dear Neanderthal Kunish. I hope your comment was worth it, black gold. You ain't black gold. You black dirt, my ninja. You ain't black gold, you black dirt. Find something else to do. You look like you're about 60 years old hating on me. That don't make no sense. There's nothing like an old hater. That's the worst hater you can have. When you get somebody over 60 hating on you, Lord have mercy. Lord, Marcus Garvey had old haters. All due respect to Dr. W.E.B. Dubois, who I honor and respect. I always pour libation at his grave when I'm in Ghana. All due respect to Dr. W.E.B. Dubois. He was one of the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey's old haters. He was one of them old haters. He was one of them old Hey, I got some old haters in the conscious community. I got some people old enough to be my mother and father. Can't stand me because I did more for the people than they did. That's not my fault. Can't stand me because I did more for the people than they That ain't my fault. What you mad at me for? I didn't ask to be the most requested black scholar in the world. I didn't ask to be the most requested orator. I didn't ask to be the most influential school psychologist of all time. I didn't ask to build the only school for African people in the diaspora completely funded. I didn't ask for that, family. I didn't ask to be related to Frederick Douglass. I didn't ask to be born on the anniversary of the Haitian Revolution and the Nat Turner Revolution and the George Jackson Revolution. I didn't ask for that. You did, you, I'm a, listen, I didn't ask to be a chosen one. I was made to be a chosen one. I got any more chosen ones in the chat? Where my chosen ones at? Chosen ones, I need you to understand something, chosen ones. Your life will be tougher. Chosen don't make it easy. Being the chosen one does not make your life easy. I don't know who told you that. I don't know who told Being the chosen one means your life going to be harder than everybody else because you have a divine purpose. Being the chosen one is going to make your life harder than everybody else because you have a divine purpose. Being a chosen one is going to make your life harder. When you're the chosen one, you can't really, you ain't going to never have no friends. Let me tell you that right now. Chosen ones, you might get one or two. Chosen ones, you might get one or two. Jesus only had 12. Nat Turner had six. Patricia Lumumba had two. I said Jesus only had 12. The prophet Nat Turner had six. The honorable prime minister Patrice Lumumba only had two. So if you were chosen one, I'm telling you right now, you're never going to be part of no cliques. You're never going to be part of no big organization because God has separated you out from the rest. You never going to fit in. Stop trying to fit in. You ain't here to fit in. I never fit it in my whole life. I never fit it in because I wasn't supposed to. My life's work wasn't about following the crowd. If you a chosen one, you got to understand that. Mothers and fathers, when you have a child, some of y'all got children who are chosen ones. They weird, they quirky, they eccentric. They not good at sports. They don't rap. They don't play basketball. They just weird and different and original. What up, King? Oh, no, nah, not today. We, we, we good today. I keep you posted, though. All right. What's going on, young prince? I see you got the king tee on. That's what I'm talking about. Be safe out here. Yes, sir. When you have a chosen one, mothers and fathers, I'm talking to Africans only. Mothers and fathers, when you have a chosen one, 
When one of your children, you got to tell them. They not better than your other children. No, you don't put them on no pedestal. All children should be raised and treated equally. But you got to set that child apart and tell them, listen, the reason you can't play basketball. How we doing, beautiful? The reason you can't play basketball like your brother. The reason you can't dance like your sister. The reason... You try to make friends, but you can't never make friends. There's nothing wrong with you. You got to tell your chosen children this. You got to tell your chosen children. There's nothing wrong with you. You're different. What God has for you is so important. You won't be hanging out smoking weed all day. What God has for you, son, daughter, is so important. You won't be on the football team. You're not going to college for no full scholarship so you can go marry a snow bunny after you get drafted. That's not what God got you here for. You're not here to be some NBA player who don't do nothing for his community. That ain't what your purpose is. You ain't here to be another goofy ass gangster rapper who just run around with a bunch of expensive cars and clothes and jewelry. That ain't you. God has something special for you, daughter. Something special. Well, well, mommy, none of the boys like me. Because you ain't here for that. You ain't getting caught up with teenage pregnancy. You got something special you got to do for the ancestors. You ain't getting caught up with no crazy baby dad, little girl. You got something special you going to do for the ancestors. This is why we need the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Oh, yes. When I say heaven on earth, brothers and sisters. When I say heaven on earth, you have no idea the type of positive transformation we will bring to our babies we may not be perfect but we damn sure will be effective i said we may not be perfect but we will damn sure be effective tell your son and your daughters tell your chosen ones tell your chosen ones don't worry i want you and your wife to come to my dr umar couples retreat we're going to renew the vows oh yes we're going to put you in a circle of fire, pray to the almighty, call on your ancestors and tell them, don't you let this marriage dissolve over no nonsense. Don't you let this marriage dissolve over no foolishness. Don't you let this marriage dissolve over no skullduggery. Dr. Umar, black couples retreat coming soon. We declared war on divorce. We declaring war on divorce. Many a call, but few will be chosen. Many a call, but few. See, what we need to understand, and I feel the ancestors on me right now. Lord, have mercy. I can't wait to get the Nat Turner land, that eclipse tomorrow. That eclipse tomorrow, brothers and sisters. When was the last time we had an eclipse at Nat Turner land? The last time we had an eclipse at Nat Turner land before tomorrow was August the 21st, 2017. Who remember that? Who remember the great North American eclipse of August the 21st, 2017? Guess what, y'all? The day before that eclipse, on August the 20th, I saw this campus for the first time ever. Let me say it again. Where I'm standing right now, the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, where I'm standing right now, this is where I saw the school for the first time on August the 20th. On my way down to Nat Turner. Can I ask y'all a question? I saw this school on August the 20th of 2017. But we didn't get the school till August, excuse me, till February of 2019. It took us 18 months to manifest the school after the eclipse. It took us 18. See, Neanderthal behavior. How far can you squirt? You know what? You melanin deficient calcified pineal devil. Let me block him real quick. Nasty. Disgusting. The only thing you gave to the world is colonization, exploitation, and genocide. The only thing you gave to the world is colonization, exploitation, and genocide. The only thing you gave to the world is colonization, exploitation, and genocide.
let me say this. It took us 18 months to manifest this school after seeing it the day before the last Nat Turner eclipse. I'm standing here today. I'm standing here today, seven years later, the day before tomorrow's Nat Turner eclipse. I'm standing here today, the day before tomorrow's Nat Turner eclipse. What are you saying, Dr. Umar? I'm telling y'all, y'all have to give the universe time to catch up with your destiny. We had a Harriet Tubman eclipse last month. Harriet Tubman isn't done doing the work yet of the eclipse. We got the Nat Turner eclipse tomorrow. Nat Turner isn't done doing the work of the eclipse. Give him at least 18 months. The effect of an eclipse can be 18 months later. Did y'all hear me? The effect of the eclipse can be 18 months later. We saw this school the day before the 2017 eclipse, but it took us 18 months to get to school. It was ordained August 21st, 2017. It was ordained August 21st, 2017, but it wasn't manifested until February 7th of 2019, brothers and sisters. Here's what I want to say, and I'm going to bring this home. Nat Turner celebration tomorrow. Let's celebrate the greatest black man, the greatest revolutionary to ever walk on American soil. In the Native American brothers and sisters, they had some great revolutionaries. They had Geronimo. They had Sitting Bull. The Caucasian, he had some great revolutionaries. They had General Custer and George Washington. But guess what? There's not a revolutionary to ever walk this earth of the quality and caliber of an honorable prophet Nat Turner. Not one of them. Not one of them can touch prophet Nat Turner. George Washington can't touch him. Custer can't touch him. Ulysses Grant can't touch him. Sitting Bull can't touch him. Geronimo can't touch him. Not John Brown, first of all. See, I'm talking about a black revolutionary. You bring up a Caucasian one. I'm talking about an African revolutionary. You bring up a Caucasian. Let me say this. <laughs> My people are so lost. Let me say this. John Brown, who I respect tremendously. John Brown, who I respect tremendously. John Brown, who I respect tremendously. If you do your research, John Brown admitted he was inspired by the prophet Nat Turner. See, you so quick to worship those outside of your community. You so quick to honor those outside of your community and the very man you trying to honor the very man you trying to honor paid homage to your ancestor. But you want to go outside the community for your heroes. You want to go outside the community for your heroes when the person you trying to put above Nat paid homage to Nat. Look at the games we play. Look at the games we play. Look at the games we play, brothers and sisters. And let me say this. I have no problem with you mentioning John Brown. Definitely a revolutionary. But I have a big problem if you're going to mention John Brown. And not mention the five Africans who struggled with him. Four of whom died for him. The first man to fall for John Brown. The first man to fall for John Brown at Harper's Ferry, Virginia. On October 17th, 1859. When is the next almost eclipse? October 17th, 2024. When did the first man die for John Brown? A black man, danger filled newbie, a runaway slave. October 17th, 2024. I'm thinking about having a group toward a Harper's Ferry. To honor Danger Phil Newby and the five Africans who struggled and died. Four of them died with John Brown. Who want to go to Harper's Ferry, Virginia and celebrate the October 17th almost eclipse with the Prince of Pan-Africanism? Who wants to go to Harper's Ferry, Virginia where the John Brown raid took place 
on the next eclipse, almost eclipse, on October the 17th. And we're going to honor Dangerfield Newby, the first to die for John Brown. We're going to honor Osborne Anderson from Chester, Pennsylvania. He survived and was the only one to tell his story of the Africans. We're going to honor Shields Green, who was living with Frederick Douglass before he joined John Brown. We're going to honor Anthony James Anthony Copeland, black man who died with John Brown. Y'all keep talking about John Brown. What about the five Africans? Y'all keep talking about John Brown. What about the five Africans? Who want to go with me to Harpers Ferry, Virginia for the next almost eclipse, October 17th? Let's pour some libations. Let's burn some incense. Let's get ready for November the 19th because y'all know what happens November the 19th. Y'all worried about November the 5th, Election Day. Y'all worried about November the 5th, Election Day. Y'all worried about November the 5th, the Election Day. You better worry about November 19th. You better worry about that solar revolution, November 19th, when the planet Pluto enters the sign of Aquarius, two revolutionaries having a meeting. You better worry about November 19th, when the planet Pluto, the planet of destroy and rebuild, Orisha Oya. The planet Pluto, the planet of destroy and rebuild, Orisha Oya, when she goes into the sign of Aquarius, Orisha Shango, the warrior king. November 19th, the planet Pluto will visit Aquarius for the first time since the Haitian Revolution. Y'all don't hear me, though. I don't think you heard what I just said. Where my Haitian Africans at? It's time for Haiti to rise up. I'm calling it right now. Where my IET Africans at? It's time for Haiti to rise right now. If you Haitian and you proud, make some noise right now. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. The island of IET will rise again. The blood of Toussaint La Overture, the blood of John Jacques Dessalines, the blood of Henry Christophe, of Bookman, of Cecil Fatiman, of Mac Kandal. The Haitian revolutionary ancestors will rise again. Pluto enters Aquarius for the first time since the Haitian Revolution. Pluto enters Aquarius for the first time since the American Revolution. Pluto enters Aquarius for the first time since the French Revolution. I'm not worrying about November the 5th. I'm worrying about November the 19th. I'm not going to explain this again. You can rewatch it when I post it. I'm not going over it again. I'm Ifa Tunde three times. If you can't get it three times, you don't need to get it no time. I'm Ifa Tunde three times. If you can't get it three times, you don't need to get it no time. Oh, yes. November 19th, we enter into a solar period of revolution. Are we ready, Africans? My continental Africans, are you ready? Nigeria, are you ready to overthrow the black bourgeoisie? Because in Africa, the young Africans are going to have to overthrow the black bourgeoisie. Africa will have a second revolution to overthrow the black bourgeoisie. Ghana will not rise. Gambia will not rise. Zambia will not rise. Eswatini, Lesotho, South Africa, Togo, Benin, Kenya, Eritrea, Somalia, Uganda, Malawi, Congo. Mozambique, Angola, you will not rise until we overthrow the black bourgeoisie of Africa. And then we got to go to the Caribbean islands and overthrow the black bourgeoisie of Jamaica, overthrow the black bourgeoisie of Barbados in Bahamas in Bermuda, overthrow the black bourgeoisie of St. Thomas and St. Croix and St. Lucia and St. Vincent, overthrow the black bourgeoisie of Guadeloupe and Turks and Caicos, Nevis and Dominica, we must overthrow the black bourgeoisie. And then black America, after our South American Africans in Brazil overthrow the black bourgeoisie. After our South American Africans in Suriname overthrow their black bourgeoisie. After our South American Africans in 
Guyana overthrow their black bourgeoisie. After the Central American Africans of Costa Rica overthrow their black bourgeoisie. After the Central American Africans of Panama overthrow the black bourgeoisie. It's going to be time for the North American Africans to overthrow the black bourgeoisie. Oh, yes. Are y'all ready to overthrow the black bourgeoisie? You know what the biggest problem is going to be in overthrowing the black bourgeoisie? The biggest problem in overthrowing the black bourgeoisie is going to be the mind control. The mind control that the three Abrahamic faiths have on black people mentally and spiritually. I'm going to say it again. Make some noise if you understand what I'm saying. Make some noise. Not black nationalism. Revolutionary pan-African nationalism. Not black nationalism. Revolutionary pan-African nationalism. Not black nationalism. Revolutionary pan-African. Everybody. This World War III will be Africans against the rest of them. Are you ready for the clash of consciousness? The clash of culture? The clash of cosmic spirituality? Get ready, November the 19th. Get ready, November the 19th. The biggest problem towards an African world revolution the biggest problem towards an African world revolution, African world nationalism, is the mental control of the black bourgeoisie churches, the black bourgeoisie temples, and the black bourgeoisie masjids. I'm going to say it again. The biggest obstacle to the liberation of African people will be the liberation of the African mind. And the problem with overthrowing the black bourgeoisie, we're going to have to overthrow the black religious leaders. We're going to have to overthrow the black Christian bourgeoisie and replace it with a black revolutionary Christian nationalism. Did you hear what I just said? I didn't say throw out the religion. I said revolutionize it and pan-Africanize it. You're going to have to overthrow bourgeois Christianity and replace it with a revolutionary pan-African Christianity. I said you're going to have to overthrow bourgeois Christianity and replace it with a revolutionary pan-African Christianity. You're going to have to overthrow bourgeois Islam, bourgeois Islam and replace it with a revolutionary pan-African Islam. Like Muhammad Ahmad, the Mahdi of the Sudan, my favorite Muslim hero, Muhammad Ahmad. Peace and love, family. How we doing? All right, come on out. Muhammad Ahmad, the Mahdi of the Sudan, who destroyed the British soldiers. How y'all doing today? I'm going to give you your fish, boss, because I'm going to pick it up trash. That's How y'all doing, brother? Yeah, good. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Go ahead, let's pass it up. Y'all want to do an all-on-one? Turn it wide and we all get in there? Or we can do that. How we doing, Elton? All right. Put the queen in the middle. All right. I appreciate y'all. Here we go. You got my number in that phone, good brother. Uh, no, I don't. Put me in there, shoot okay. me a text with your name, so when we start having programs, I can send you out a clock. Listen, okay. I work in this world. Ah, okay, okay same field. All right. And the provider I work for, she's a black woman, and she does not promote medication. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you know, to hear that. It's happening here first. It's happening here first. They always say they got yes, ADHD. Nine, eight, five. Some our topic. people need to talk to our problems. We don't need to exactly. suppress them until. Mm. Big problem. Say it again. We can do that with other people. You can do that with us because we're spiritual. We're melanated. We got a process. That's it. We an experiential That's people, it. not a medication people. Talk about it. Yes, indeed. That's yes, indeed. It.
All right. Y'all be safe. All right now.